All right, so we got Dead by Daily official Tomb Raider collection trailers. Get to video. Here we go. Tomb Raider. Uh oh. Uh oh. Is that Laura Croft? Is that Babes? Is that the Babes or what? Oh snap! She's kind of dripped out. Polar Expedition. Oh snap! Yeah, help him out, help him out. Hurry up, hurry up. Hurry up. Okay, so they got her in like different skins and stuff. New Survivor. Got Laura Croft in here. Okay, Polar Expedition and Retrofit. Ooh, hold up. Listen, keep, listen, to be honest with you, bro, she's killing both fits, if I'm being honest with you. Dead by Daylight. Now, if I'm being honest with you, let me, let me just say this real quick. I haven't played Day, uh, Dead by Daylight since, like, bro, I I'm talking, like, a year and a half ago. And the reason is, is because, like, every time I would, like, you know, download the game or whatever, and I would try to, like, get in the game, bro, it legit took me, like, an hour for me to get into the game. Um, now, am I taking away on, like, how fun it is? No. Because, like, I in my opinion, I think the game is more fun when you have people that you know or whatever. But at the same time, it can still be fun when you playing against random people. It's just, I feel like... Like, for me, I feel like it's way more fun. Like, if you it was you and, like, a couple more people, whatever, in, like, a Discord or whatever, and you guys are, like, playing, I think that would be way, like, more, way more fun. But, um, in all honesty, bro, like, I remember games like uh, Friday the 13th. Uh, bro, that game was, ab bro, seeing, like, your favorite content creators play those games, bro, absolutely hilarious. Um, and, it, and to be honest with you, with this game, that's where, like, I share, like, a lot of my memories, you know, watching a lot of, like, you know, my favorite content creators play Dead by Daylight and Friday the 13th back then and stuff like that. It, it was just absolutely classic. Um, but now, you know, in my eyes, I kind of like, I kind of look at uh, Dead by Daylight kind of like Fortnite in a way, you know, because Fortnite, bro, they could put any, bro, they could put anything in anybody in their game. For Dead by Daylight, I mean, you can put... Technically, you can put anybody in the game. Obviously, you know, with the whole legal part, you got to, like, you know, deal with the whole legal part. But what I'm saying is, bro, like, bro, they got Chucky in here. They got Michael Myers. I, th I think they got Michael Myers in this game. I mean, they should if they don't. Um, bro, they got uh, they got Tomb Raider in this game, bro. They could put, like, a lot more, like, you know, scary, you know, icons. They could put, like, bro, they could put the Joker in this game. The Joker will be nice in this game. Um a lot of different, like, you know, scary villains and stuff like that they could put in this game. So, Dead by Daylight kind of, like, has that freedom. I, I feel like this game really has, like, that freedom to put, like, a lot of, like, you know, scary icons in this game. So, don't be surprised, you know, if we, if we see, you know, your favorite uh, scary, you know, monster or villain or scary character in your favorite game, whatever. Don't be surprised if you see that in this game because... Uh, I really, I really feel like Dead by Daylight can really do that. So comment down below. What do you guys think about Tomb Raider uh, in the game? You guys know. Listen, this is my girlfriend. I don't have a problem, you know, with my girl, you know, being in this game or whatever. But um, hope <laughs> see you guys later. Thanks for the about. Make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel if you guys did enjoy, and uh, peace.